It's a city of nearly 2,000 people where farmlands are joined by long dirt roads. And when you look in those blue skies, it's not uncommon to see scavengers nearby. When Billy Evans saw a wake of buzzards, it led him to a mystery that's lingered over Freeport for the last 15 years. I was over here a day or two before and seen a bunch of buzzards right in here, you know, in the tree there. And uh, then the uh, next day, I believe it was, I came over and there was two here in the road and I see where a bunch of them had been out in the road. And uh, I stopped and I got looking out there and uh, I thought somebody might have thrown fish heads or, or a dead dog out because they do that, you know. So uh, I got looking, I seen a black spot that looked like boots are sticking up. The remains of Manuel Mosqueda Ruiz were left decaying on the edge of Magnolia Lodge Road, just off of Highway 3280 and right outside Billy Evans's home. He reported the death on August 16, 2004, but Walton County investigators are still trying to piece together what happened to him. The body was already in a uh, state of decomposition, so he had been out there um, probably several days. and. That leads us pretty much to right now that we, we have no clues right now of who did anything you know, to him. Investigators Steve Sunday and his team were able to identify Ruiz by his ID card. This is the one and only photo they have, and leads are lacking as well. Ruiz was from Mexico and had only been in the country for about one month, working odd jobs in the construction field of both Freeport and Atlanta. An autopsy on his body later revealed he had also been shot. Information uh, pretty much shows that he was with some other migrant workers that were uh, traveling kind of back and forth to Atlanta doing different odd jobs, construction. I think he may have been in the sheetrock business. Um, so we hope that this information can get to those um, people and if they remember him or if they know anything, we want to hear that information because it could help solve uh, who murdered uh, this man, just cold-blooded, and then dumped him like he was trash. Deputies believe Ruiz was last seen around convenience stores in Freeport, but his whereabouts leading up to his murder have not yet been confirmed. Evans's recollection has helped guide investigators so far. Best I remember, he had a pair, of, had them combat boots on and a pair of green shorts, I believe, and uh, blue shorts and a. Uh, a red t-shirt. You can see where somebody had turned around here in the in the road, you know. And uh, like I said, I don't know if they dumped him out in the daytime or at night, you know. Because you had people coming down all the time turning around and going out, but this one had turned around right here. Evans says this area was full of trees at the time, but the landscape has changed over the years. They've uh, cleared this land, uh, timber, got the timber off of it. And uh, I think they've replanted it in pines, but it looks a lot different now than what it did then. It was little bushes and trees out there, you know. And if he'd have been another 20 foot out there, I'd have never seen him. If you've ever worked with Ruiz or know anything about him, the Walton County Sheriff's Office is asking for your help. So something happened. We That's what we want to try to figure out is what happened, what um, who did he meet up with? Did he have a fight with someone? Um, did you, you know, did they see him get in with a vehicle? Someone I think knows what happened. They know what happened to him, and that's why we really need for them to come forward and uh, and tell us what they know, and then and let us go from there with it. Given the circumstances of this case, the agency has requested that we include this following Spanish-speaking excerpt in hopes to inform our full audience. So, bueno, mi nombre es Pablo Budueño, soy un oficial con la oficina del sheriff en Walton County, Florida. Y el día de hoy necesitamos la ayuda de la comunidad hispana. Um, una historia un poco triste, un, un hombre hispano de México. Um, su nombre es Manuel Bosque Ruiz, de 25 años. Su cuerpo fue encontrado en la área de... Uh, Magnolia Lodge, el, le hicieron una autopsy y encontraron que el hombre fue disparado, alguien lo mató, sangre fría. Uh, 
Él no tiene mucha familia en esta área, necesitamos la, la, la ayuda de la comunidad hispana, cualquier persona que pueda saber algo de él, llámanos, no tengan miedo, solamente queremos o oh, coger información para ver si ayudamos a resolver este caso. Su ayuda va a ser bien a uh, buena ayuda para la agencia. In Malton County, for News 13, I'm Amber Spradley, Panhandle Strong.